You once proposed ending foreign aid to Israel. You now support it, at least for the time being. And you once offered to drastically yeah, well, cut... Go, wait, wait, wait. Before we go... Once drastically we, and wanted to, to cut defense spending, and now litany, you want to increase it 16%. Before, yeah, so I just wonder if you've mellowed out. Of, yeah, why don't you let me explain instead sure. of talking over me, okay? Whoa. Well, that didn't go well. Rand Paul under attack from the media saying that he's sexist and not ready for the race after interviews like that one. As for the 2016, uh, it's ramping up, as you know. Will the mainstream media, will other media outlets treat, treat the GOP candidates fairly? Probably not. Uh, here to react, former governor of Arkansas and 2008 presidential candidate Mike Huckabee, who joins us from Iowa, of all places. Governor, good morning to you. Good morning. Great to be with you guys. All right. So uh, you saw Savannah Guthrie tangle with Rand Paul yesterday. Was that a fair interview? Well, I think the questions are fair because uh, it, when you're running for president, all is fair in love and war. This is war. This is the big leagues. You're going to have to expect that you're going to have a lot of fastballs that are going to be aimed right at your nose. And how you handle them is part of the process. It's part of the game, if you will. Uh, so I any question is fair. It's how you handle it. It's like the pitcher can throw what he wants. Uh, mm -hmm. The question is, ca can you either uh, put it in the third deck or do you rush the mound and take right. the pitcher on? So you you have the choice. So he thinks part of the game is deciding how to handle it. Governor, he thinks that he even says sometimes I can be thin skinned. Would you witness or I've witnessed? Because I know you follow this stuff close. You're, you're almost in yourself. Do you believe that he reacted in a thin skinned way? You know, I think what you have to always do, Brian, is, is to remember that when you're being asked a question by the press on television, the audience is not the reporter. The audience is, is going to be the viewer. Mm -hmm. And so you're trying to communicate your message to the viewer, not just to the reporter. If you come across as if you're being uh, harsh, unwilling to answer the question, the viewer is going to see that as uh, running away from, from uh, being forthright. Specifically if you're simply trying to make your position clear, they'll see that as being bold. Again, the line is sometimes difficult to know, but it's part of the process. And uh, I do think that, you know, in every case, you've got to be careful. Do you come across as angry mm. or can you use humor and some other form of communication mm -hmm. to deflect the tough question and to get to the answer that you want to be giving, just like yeah. I'm trying to do right now? Yeah, yeah. Doing I mean, a pretty you know, good job. Wise the advice there, particularly when there are those waiting in the wings, really, for some male Republican and GOP candidates for 2016 to kind of step in it when it comes to dealing with women. What's your advice there? Well, I, I do think that there's always that danger. Whether it's true or not, uh, there's going to be this narrative that there's a war on women. I mean, we, yep. we saw that before. I think yeah. it failed on the Democrats' part. But it doesn't mean that because something has failed, they're not going to keep using it. So we need to be prepared for that. We, we don't need to, uh, to be afraid of those questions. And I think what we do is never allow the other side to define the terms. When I was a debater in high school and college, the one thing I learned was that before the debate begins, you have mm -hmm. a definition of the terms. And if you don't participate and the terms are defined for you, you've lost the debate before it begins. I'm convinced Republicans are losing a lot of debates because they let the Democrats define the terms. We're playing defense, mm -hmm. and that's nonsense. We ought to say, wait a minute, let's talk about uh, what it means. If you call me anti-abortion, I'm not. I'm pro-life. And then explain what you mean by that. Right. And force them to defend their position rather than always being on the defensive. And that would be true for, for virtually sure. any issue. Don't let the terms get defined for you. All right. Uh, you have defined a problem, and that is you've got a video out that uh, people should deal with a terrorist as you would with a rattlesnake. We're going to show a little bit of this. When you're dealing with Islamic Jihad that has as its goal the annihilation of everyone who does not agree with their absolute religious fanaticism, you're dealing with a rattlesnake. Governor, why'd you put that out? Well, I think people need to understand that you can't sit down and reason with radical Islamic terrorists. There's no reasoning to be had. And, and the idea that we're going to have a cup of tea, we're going to make nice, they're going to understand, and we're going to better get in their heads, or as Marie Harf once said, we're going to try to help them find jobs. <laughs> That's nonsense. We're dealing with people who have very intentionally told us they want to kill every last one of us. 
uh, we have to recognize the danger for what it is and to, uh, to cut its head off before it bites us and kills us. It's pretty well, to me, that simple. I imagine your time, you're going to be uh, talking about your day. This was Rand Paul week. Uh, two weeks ago was Ted Cruz week. Soon it'll be Mike Huckabee week. Uh, you could do it right now. Anything you want to say about running for president? There's plenty of time okay. to, uh, to get that out there. And so be patient. All right. Be patient. Okay. We're standing by. Governor, sure thank are. you very much. Thank you. Right. Joining us from Thank you, Iowa. guys. Sir, thank you.